What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yoon. You're watching the Marvel edition of the Rage and Nation show. This is just a web series where we're talking about all things that matter me in the world of Marvel films. This is episode number 52, and by now, I'm sure all of you guys have seen the Ant-Man trailer. The first Ant-Man trailer debuted a few days ago, and it was something that I was really looking forward to, mainly because... It's a new character that's being introduced into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We've seen, of course, the four main guys, Ho uh, Ho <laughs> Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, <laughs> and and um, and uh, 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 Captain America. And then we got introduced to uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, but they are a group, right? And then now we're getting our first solo character who we haven't seen yet. Okay, and that is Ant-Man, and that's why I was really excited to see the trailer, all right? Uh, I did my reaction video for it, I did a review for it, I talked a little bit about it, um, but um, I've been reading some of the comments about the Ant-Man trailer, and it's very mixed. Uh, of course, there are a lot of fans who can't wait to see it because they're fans of the source material, and then there are some people who are just fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, the movies, and aren't quite familiar with the character, and they think that the idea of, an, of, a, of a human turning into an ant is a little bit silly, and they felt that the trailer was, eh, you know, whatever, it doesn't do a whole lot for them, right? I gotta say that from what I saw, it achieved exactly what I expected to do. And that is, I wanted to see what it would look like if Paul Rudd were to play Scott Lang and if he could convince me that he could be a hero in, you know, as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And he did just that. Because he wasn't being anything other than a Paul Rudd representation of Scott Lang. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't looking to be like a, you know, superhero type of character. He only had two lines in the trailer and that is, huh. And that, and another line was, uh, "Do you think that uh, we can change the name Ant Man or something like that?" But at the end of the day, it, it was Paul Rudd being Paul Rudd, and that's exactly what I needed from Paul Rudd. I needed to see him own the role and you know give his version, his representation of Scott Lang. All right, so that part was achieved. The other thing that I wanted to see is what Ant Man would look like. After putting on the, um, you know, he puts on the, this costume. Costume looks really, really cool, by the way. But the next thing I wanted to see is how they would make the shrinking look. Okay, I don't know if they're going to include the enlarging aspect of the Ant-Man character because if you don't already know, his special ability is, is not only to shrink and not only to control ants, but he can grow in size. All right, the the um, the, the 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 costume, or rather the the technical ability of the costume allows him to to. Um, a shift in size, okay, so which means larger or smaller. So, you know, we, we were able to see him do that, and it looked pretty cool, but it wasn't exactly, like, totally mind-blowing or anything like that. The trailer wasn't mind-blowing. It was, it was, um, it was intriguing, okay? I, I thought that, uh, it was cool for what it was, and that is the very first trailer, almost like a teaser trailer. It doesn't tell us a whole lot, okay? But um, it is still, I, I thought, it essentially, it was quite effective. Now, if you don't already know, the Ant-Man trailer ended up being downloaded 25 million times. It, it, it ended up getting 29 million views of, of, you know, after it was released. And this is actually much higher than what Guardians of the Galaxy ended up with. One thing that's very, very interesting is that while Guardians of the Galaxy is a movie that we've already seen and very, very positively reacted to, had a positive reaction, a lot of people thought that Guardians of the Galaxy was stupid. Because they, not only did they not know the source material, but, you know, when you watch the trailer, it didn't sell you on, on these characters and how they connect with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Even though it had the Marvel Studios label on it, it didn't feel like Iron Man or Captain America. It didn't have that superhero a vibe to it. It was just about this misfit ragtag group of unlikely heroes, and it felt like Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but you know, everybody loved it. Well, I wouldn't say everybody, but the majority of the people liked it, and it ended up being the highest grossing, um, or uh, one of the highest grossing films of 2014. So now bring in Ant Man. Okay, and I, the reason why I think that this this uh, um, trailer was viewed more than the the, pre, the the Guardians of the Galaxy is mainly because well, first of all, regardless of whether you like it or not, it's irrelevant. The reason why this this trailer is viewed more twenty nine million views uh, uh, 
you know, a, a, a view count like that is because um, because we're seeing a, a hero character. He's not a hero to begin with, but we're seeing a character that actually is kind of like Iron Man or Captain America. He's got a, an alter ego, and he's Ant-Man, and he's also Scott Lang. All right, he's not like Thor, um, you know, uh, Hulk. He doesn't exactly hang up his costume. He becomes the Hulk. But um, Ant-Man, you know, he, he has his costume somewhere in his house. He puts it on and then he's Ant-Man. Or rather, Scott Lang becomes Ant-Man. So we're seeing another hero character into the mix of the, um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I think people are interested in that. Now, um, you know, upon the release of the, the trailer, there were some new stills um, for, uh, for Ant-Man. Okay, so let's just take a look at them. First, we get this cover of Entertainment Weekly, and here you see um, a magnifying glass showing what Paul Rudd looks like underneath that costume, all right? I gotta say that costume looks cool. I mean, check this out. Look at how cool that looks. It's got the, you know, your standard, typical leather look, right? But it's got a lot of components to it. I like the helmet. You can also see through the, 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 the eyes, right? So you can see his actual eyes, which is actually a pr pretty nice touch, all right? Um, here's Hope Van Dyne, played by uh, played by uh, Evangeline Lilly, and here is Corey Stoll, uh, who plays, uh, or rather, who, here is a uh, um, uh, um, what's the character? Uh, what's the the character's name? Uh, 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 Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket, where, who we're supposed to believe is played by um, Corey Stoll, who plays a uh, Darren Cross, of course, right? So that is really cool. Look at that. That costume. I, I gotta say that the, the the yellow jacket costume looks very very cool uh, compared to Ant Man. I mean, they both look cool, but like with those extra uh, arms sticking out and look at the blade at the end of it, very very awesome. All right, so we never actually see um, yellow jacket in the trailer, and we also never see Wasp in the trailer. After all, it is trailer one, uh, but. Um, I think it, you know, it showed us enough for our very first trailer. All right. Next, uh, we see, um, of course, Paul Rudd talking to the director. Uh, here's um, Paul Rudd, uh, or rather, um, Scott Lang talking to Michael Douglas. And what's very, very interesting about uh, this uh, this picture is that, you know, looking back at the trailer, Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas, actually uh, suggests to Paul to Scott Lang that he can be so much more, all right? Uh, you're here for a reason, you can be so much more. So, is it possible, you know, this, this plays a huge part in the plot? Like for example, is he the one who's been watching uh, Scott Lang for a very, very long time, watching him as a criminal, watching him as he steals things, and then he recruits him, and then, um, you know, welcomes him to become Ant-Man, you know what I'm saying? Or is it, uh, or is it, um, you know, Michael Doug, or rather Han Hank Pym discovers him later on, all right? And then he, of course, introduces him to the suit, all right? Um, could it be that uh, Hank Pym is behind the whole mastermind? I mean, he is the mastermind behind everything from the very beginning? Did he set Scott Lang up, you know, from the very, very beginning? Who knows? Anyways, uh, let's take a look at these other stills. And here you see... Uh, Ant-Man, of course, riding uh, riding on a flying ant, which I'm very, very curious about seeing. And here is here is him uh, uh, looking at his uh, uniform, or rather his costume. And here's a really, really cool shot. I actually really, really like this. Here's him standing on a bathtub, in his bathtub. And then this other shot is ha him uh, standing as Scott Lang with the, the, with the suit hanging on the uh, hanger of the, the shower curtain. All right? So, is this where he keeps his suit? All right. <laughs> One thing that's really, really uh, interesting is that Scott Lang, just like um, uh, uh, Iron Man and Bruce Wayne, you know, they, they uh, have, you know, the alter ego. So, he's Scott Lang, you know, and then later on, he's Ant-Man, right? But he's got to find some place to put his suit. Iron Man keeps it in his, uh, in his uh, vault, I guess, or his, you know, his, his, his thing, in his... In his room, I mean, in that 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 the tech room where he does all this tech stuff, right? Bruce Wayne keeps it in the vault, you know, in the Batcave. Well, Scott Lang keeps it in the shower. <laughs> so I like that aspect about 
the character, you know, he's not a superhero. He's not a man with a lot of resources. He's just some dude who keeps his costume in his closet or in his bathroom. So, anyways, that, <clears throat> that excuse me, that is all very, very cool. I just wanted to share with you my thoughts about the trailer. And I, I, I feel that um, a lot, even though a lot of people you know, are like, eh, it doesn't do a whole lot for me, or it's a rental, or it's something that I don't really care for a lot. Uh, well, you got to understand one thing, and that is, it is, par it is still part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is part of a bigger story, okay? And at the end of Ant-Man, there's going to be another Easter egg, where it's going to lead to the next film, all right, so even though you're not interested in Ant-Man, but you do like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think it's important for you to watch Ant-Man just because if you if you miss out on something, you might miss, you know, what happens next on, um, you know, what what how did something happen in the following film, or you might miss an Easter egg, or that is directly connected with Civil War or Doctor Strange or something like that. So um, I'm really excited for this film. Uh, I'm I'm excited because it is a new character being introduced into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that's something to look forward to. All right, and I'm very very curious to see what Paul Rudd would be like as Ant Man. Okay, we got a little a brief idea of that in the trailer. Stay tuned for trailer two, which could be coming out later on this year. I mean, it will be coming on later on this year, and maybe we will see some more money shots, like for example, him going against Yellow Jacket, and maybe we'll see a little bit of Wasp. Anyways, that's all I got to say in this video. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Silat. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it consists of a lot of weapons uh, fighting, such as blades, batons, poles.